Hi friends, welcome back. So Xiaomi has released the second Oreo update for Mi A1. This is a security update and the size of the update is 89 MB. I did not get this update directly. I had to clear the Google services framework app data multiple times and I also had to restart the phone twice or thrice and finally the update showed up. Coming to the features of the update, this is primarily a bug fix update. Xiaomi seems to have covered major concerns and issues here. The update is only of size 89 MB, so it doesn't matter if it's Wi-Fi or mobile data. So we are done with downloading, let's restart the phone and see what issues are fixed. So we are done with the reboot and let's quickly jump into the settings and check the bell number settings system about phone as you can see this is the build with January 1st security patch and the build date is January 10th. The first fix is regarding the HD capable icon. Now we no longer have it in the notification bar or on the lock screen we have just the normal HD icon which appears in the status bar just like the previous ROM versions. Next fix is regarding app is running in background notification. If you have noticed for apps like internet speed meter light, there was a permanent notification in the notification bar stating that app is running in the background. This happens with all Wario ROMs and can be fixed with a third party app. I am really glad that we have a fix included in this stock ROM itself. Next is about Bluetooth issue. Now there's no too much battery drain when connected to Bluetooth devices or when the Bluetooth option is on and also the Bluetooth transfer rate is highly improved. Next is the dialer app. Many people had issues with the phone app like the app taking 20 to 30 seconds to open. Now the stock dialer app is super fast and there is no lag at all. I had issues with phone app before especially when connected to a USB device like the CDLA earphones I have and now this issue is fixed and there is no lag or drop calls. Moving on to ambient notifications. Now we can interact with the notifications from the lock screen itself. You can click reply and go to that specific app which was not the case with the first Oreo build. This is convenient only if you don't have security on the phone. If you had set up pin or pattern or a fingerprint lock, in that case you need to enter pin or pattern after hitting the reply button. About fingerprint sensor, it's slightly faster, the responsiveness is improved a bit here but still it's not the fastest out there. In the previous Oreo build, there was no option to enable the fingerprint gestures if you hadn't enabled them in the Nougat update. Now the option is back and we can enable swipe gestures for fingerprint sensor. The camera app opens in a second. Like I said before in the previous video, if the camera app is lagging, make sure you are on the stock boot. Some people had issues with video or audio playback like the video or audio getting paused after 2 or 3 minutes. I tried playing a 7 minute video and there is no such issue. And thankfully the rapid charging lock screen notification has been removed. This actually led to too much confusion. Many started believing that the phone supports quick charge 2.0 or 3.0 after Oreo update. There's no such thing like fast charging and it just displays charging now. That's it guys, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or concerns, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.